Hi there, welcome to Your Spiritual Rock Raquel. I just wanted to bring you a quick caviar bite. I was recording this for my audience and um, I wanted to bring it onto this channel because I think it's really important. So it's going to be a caviar bite for what's kind of happening energetically and for some things that for you to think about. This is a really great time for you to launch. And if not now, when? Right now when this is being recorded is when a lot of people are in shut-ins. You might be thinking, this is like the worst time to launch anything. No, it's one of the best times to launch because you're saving a lot of time not commuting. And for many of you, you're actually, because of the shut-ins, you're not working or maybe you're reduced to part-time. So you actually have the time to start putting pen to paper. And actually, once you do that, you're able to run um, pretty quickly. So right now, the advice is to make the most of this time and to launch. Really tap into your inner guidance because you already know. There's so many lies that we believe, and one of them being is, I don't have enough time. Well, now you do have the time. You might not then be thinking, well, I don't have enough money, or I don't have all that I need. That's not, that's not so either. You already have everything that you need right now to do the next step. So what is the next step? And then you have to really think about and, and really be honest with yourself. What is the secondary benefit that you have been convincing yourself of in order to keep you in that space. For instance, first your excuse was you didn't have any time. Well, now you have time. It was taken out. <laughs> that was taken out of your life. Now you're, then you're saying, well, I don't have enough money. Well, I just told you, you have everything that you need right now to do the next step. But you really want to do this, but you're not doing it, right? You're like, well, I'm a procrastinator. Why are you giving the word procrastination power over you? What is the secondary benefit? What is really the benefit that you're receiving by not moving forward? Could it be that you're just afraid to fail or afraid to succeed? Because either, either way, when there's some fear, there's a fear-based reason that is giving you a secondary benefit that is trapping you from moving forward. Sometimes people have a fear of success because that means they, they think that they might have to leave people behind. People are not going to understand or they're going to you know, think differently of them. Um, they're not going to be able to hang out with the same people that they're hanging out with now. There's so many different reasons. And for failure, some people are going through that as well. They're afraid to fail because it really um, hurts their ego. But when you see that anybody who's ever done anything, they fail a lot first. So what is the difference this time? This time it's going to be different because you're different. And so start to really just pause and see what resources can you tap into? There's so many um, free courses right now or reduced price courses um, that you can take that you can then utilize and leverage the time that you have in order for you to brush up on those things that you want to do. So there's really no excuses, whether money is funny or not. <laughs> there are a lot of courses and there's a you know YouTube university that's free. You just have to give yourself some focus. I'm trying to strip away all your excuses because your excuses are nothing more than well-planned out lies. And so once you start being honest with yourself, then you start to look around who can I contact? Who can I network with? Who is in your circle of friends or in your in your acquaintances, in your network that is already a couple of steps ahead of you? They don't have to be a master in it, just a couple of steps ahead. Can you do a Zoom call with them? Because you can't do a coffee, but you know, reach out to them. Can you reach out to them? Can you look at your LinkedIn network or any other networks, your Facebook ones, and see who is a couple steps ahead of you in the area that you want to advance in or start or launch in and have that Zoom conversation? Just ask them. So many people, especially people who are successful, we love to share our knowledge. We love to mentor people. So, and if you're coming serious, then People like us love to connect with people like you. So look at your um, connections that you're not leveraging right now. that are at, actually going to give you the answers that you seek. The other thing that came across when I was talking to my audience was, you know, it's not about getting rich quick. <laughs> it isn't. Now you can't, you know, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. So you want to just make sure you're, you're creating those plans. And that's why it's like the pen to paper. You're creating the plans and then you're working your plan every single day, knowing that it's going to be successful because once you 
are really confident about who you are and what you bring to the table, your audience will find you. That's resonance. They will pick up on that because you are the answer again that people are seeking. You were made on purpose for a purpose. So it's really important right now for you to focus every single day. You know, while you have the opportunity to be shut in, this is a gift. The shut in has been given to you as a gift so that you can launch your dream. Will you leverage that? The last thing that I, I wanted to bring to you is that, you know, who cares about what happened in the past? You know, you might, one of the excuses that people comes like, you know, well, if people knew my background, they're not going to accept me or, or, you know, if the, the things that I went through, I don't know if I, I can really, you know, speak as an authority, but actually those things that happened to you in the past is part of the reason that people will resonate. Um, with you, because when you share your story, other people will resonate with it. They'll be able to see themselves in that and think, wow, if she can do it, or if he can do it, I can too. So the, your past, all those things that are kind of maybe a little bit on the ugly side is actually something that's going to help leverage you and set you apart. But you need to choose that you're going to rise and to fill in that space. There's a void right now in this world, waiting for you to fill it. There are things that only you can do. And if you don't do them, like this is an abundant universe, somebody else will fill that space, but they're never going to be able to do it the way you do it. That's why there's no such thing as saturate, saturation of the market because you are unique and you have not saturated the market. So until you have saturated the market with you, then you have some work to do, don't you? Absolutely. All right, my loves, until next time, which will be very, very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I answer all my comments as long as YouTube tells me there's a comment. Nothing's 100%. For a whole bunch of cool resources, go to yourspiritualrock.com. See you next time, right now.